I was just uh, looking through this video and this video is a really great video to be sponsored by BetterHelp. I'm talking about Brene Brown. You guys know what BetterHelp is. It is an online therapy. It's really easy. You just go online and sign up and you're matched with a counselor within 48 hours. Especially when you're like really struggling, therapy can be really difficult to kind of figure out, go find a therapist, go try people out. It just requires a lot of effort and when you're really down and like in bed, that's just like a lot to do and this is really easy. You just Get on your computer, sign up, you're matched with a therapist. If you don't like that therapist, you can switch out to another one. It's no big deal. You can do video therapy, you can do texting, you can send unlimited messages. It's really great. It kind of just like whatever your preferences you can do. And why I really like it is it's really hard to go to therapy appointments when you're always kind of traveling and on the go. And so this is a great way to keep up with therapy when I'm traveling. It also is a cheaper alternative to traditional therapy because the price is a bit lower than, you know, the classic. I do have a discount code for you. That's www.betterhelp.com slash Shaw for 10% off your first month. I feel like doing therapy this way is really great because you're doing it in like the comfort of your own home. It's very private and you don't leave like the, ha the natural environment that you're very like used to and it can really help you kind of like open up and feel better. Now it's time, it, you kind of almost like skip over that like awkward part of therapy where you're like sitting there and you're like, mm, I don't know what to say. So if you're struggling at all, if you've been looking for a therapist, I highly recommend ch checking out BetterHelp. They've been amazing and I think everyone should do therapy. It's 10.30 and I haven't had a coffee yet. I also look kind of like an elf. Okay. So last night I watched Brene Brown's Call to Courage. And I have to say, have to admit that I definitely had some preconceived notions. I had some preconceived notions of Brene Brown. I don't know why, I just was like, ugh, like I'm not gonna like her stuff. I just was being judgmental. I'm obsessed with her. And I was watching it and I was in tears. Uh, she's talking about when her YouTube video went viral and all the negative comments. Obviously it struck home to me because I come on here every day, every day, and I choose to show up and I choose to be vulnerable and I choose to be brave and I put, choose to put myself out there and I choose to give people glimpse, glimpses and, uh, and access into my life and the opportunity to say whatever they want. You know, we can say like, I don't care what people think, but you know, like it does affect you in some sort of way, even if it's subconsciously, it does affect you. YouTube and social media kicks your fucking ass every day. Like literally every single day it kicks your ass, whether it's negative comments, whether it's not enough views, whether it's people, you knowing people be like, well, she doesn't even get in a lot of views in her videos anymore. Like she doesn't even, she's not even good, blah, blah, blah. Like the, the things people are gonna say when you don't get enough views, how to grow, not growing fast enough, brands not liking, like there's so many things and there's hate blogs. There's literally blogs just to shit on people on the internet. So it's a lot and it kicks your fucking ass every day. So when she was talking about how like to be brave, you need to show up, you need to be in the arena. arena like I was literally like full crying. I'm like, <laughs> and, and mostly because I was so, it wasn't even for me now. I was like in tears for the 18 year old me that did that that just went for it and I'm just proud of her. But anyway, in the end, regardless of what anyone says, regardless of the views, I fucking choose to show up every day. I choose to show up and do this job. I love this job and I'm choosing to be brave every day and I'm here, you know? And so whatever happens, whatever think people say, whether a video gets a hundred million views, whether it gets a thousand views, it doesn't matter. Like I choose to show up and I'm here and that's kind of what I took for it. And then another thing that she said, I just want to say, I love these, I love these vlog thoughts. I just love them. I think this is like, um, honestly, these kind of vlog thoughts have like re-sparked my joy in vlogging. Cause like, I love this. I love that I'm just like having a coffee, sitting here chatting about things that are just like thoughts. Like it's not my opinion. It's not my like, like I'm just, it's just the way I think and the Way I process things and I I think that I don't know it's really re-sparked my love for vlogging I feel like we're just like almost having a discussion like I would with a friend you know like I would hear their thoughts or whatever the other thing that she said which kind of goes along with like the negative comments thing was like stop working your shit out on other people and I have talked about this before but I literally used to work my shit out on everyone because I hadn't processed anything that I had been through and I was a mess and I would freak out at people or I'd be mean to people or whatever. This is like early twenties. When she just said that, like stop working your shit out on other people. 
I was just like, yes, yes, Brene Brown. I have her book in my storage locker. I'm gonna read it now. So I'm obsessed with her. I feel like I'm gonna have another vlog thought later, but those are my morning vlog thoughts. Be brave, show up. She also said, sorry, you can just watch it on Netflix if you want, but so many people sit in the cheap seats and they don't even choose to show up. Like that she, she was, the visualization was like, you showing up to your life and being brave and being vulnerable is you actually stepping into the arena of life. And there's so many people in the cheap, cheap seats that just don't ever even choose to show up. They don't ever ever choose to like live their life and they're so easily, well, they will so easily criticize and judge you when they won't even show up for, in their own life. And so, you know, you should, we all care about what other people think, right? We're hardwired to do so. You just can't care about them and what they think, but you obviously are gonna care like the people you love and the people you respect. And I obviously care about what you guys think because you know, we, we do this together, but anyway. Those are my vlog thoughts for today. I did my makeup using the, I did it on TikTok, which is why I didn't do it on camera. I used the House Labs foundation, which I guess like went viral, but I just saw it recently. This is Lady Gaga's brand. It actually looks really good. But honestly, in the end, like there's no better foundation than Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. Like there's great ones, but I just love Luminous Silk and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get another one. Do I need another foundation? No. So I have to film a video now. Tuesdays are my filming days. And then I might do a little bit of Instagram content. So let's film. Do you guys like what like vlogs when I'm just like at home all day? I feel like it's like, I don't know, maybe cause like I'm living it, it's boring. I feel like it could be comforting, you know? I mean, I feel like when I watch vlogs, like people are just like hanging out, talking to you. So look how cute these photos are. It's like kind of nice, but I can also understand why just like me chatting to the camera might be really boring. I was thinking of making this bloom matcha, matcha coconut blend mix. Bloom, spoiling water, one cup of hot or cold milk. Do I have a little? Oh, I had a whisk. All right, I guess we'll boil a little water. Okay, boiling water, opening up this pack. I saw this thing about matcha. And if it's not, I don't know about this one because it's blended with something, but it was like, it would be bitter if it was like the leaves and the stem. I don't even drink matcha, like why do I care? But like if the leaves and if the stems were in it, it would be bitter. I don't know. You know what, never mind. I don't know why I feel like matcha. Actually I do. It's because I'm getting my period. Where should I mix this? Should I heat up the milk? That's kind of good. Okay, another question. How can you tell when oat milk has gone bad? Literally no idea. All right, I'm gonna heat up the milk in a little saucer. Is it fucked if I do this? Yeah, that's kind of fucked. Milk just literally went everywhere. Okay, that's a bad idea. I'm not gonna do that. Like sometimes I do stuff like that. It's like I know what's gonna happen. Okay, should I do this? Is that so dumb? I do actually have a milk frother. I don't. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh my god, I'm scared. It's gonna be too hot. I don't think I put enough matcha in. Even when I was on that fucking cleanse and I had to drink matcha, I just never get it right. Do you know what I mean? Like it just never tasted good. Put the sugar in and have to re-blend it. I posted this sweater one time on my story and everyone wanted to know where it's from. And like, I just wanna let you know you don't because it actually chokes me. I don't even know where it's from, but it's one of those sweaters that chokes you. All right, I'm gonna blend this again. All right, whatever. I don't even like matcha that much. Maybe I just don't know how to make it. Instead of drinking matcha, maybe maybe I should just drink water. <laughs> so I got some new things in that I guess I'll show you, but maybe we'll just go upstairs. Or maybe I'll show you here. Okay, so first I got these Nanushka shoes. Look how cute these are. I can't wear these really. I guess I could wear them right now, but it's gonna be cold in like two weeks. Wait, these are sick. I like that it covers your whole foot. You know what I mean? Obviously I wouldn't wear it like, I'd wear them with pants. Cool, heel is very, very low. Love. I also got this skirt, maxi 
skirt. Okay, cute little leather skirt. This is the knit bralette from Uncle. It's actually on crazy sale right now, but I really like this. This was some boots and a sweater. One of the new Uncle sweaters. Even this, this looks so good. And this is really soft. I don't know. I think this is vegan leather. It's really nice. Oh, I love. Extra small, extra small. I did get another pair of jeans, but I'm gonna tell you why. So these are the Silver Lake London, and I do already have these in a lighter wash, and I got them in a 23, and like my vagina is like squished in the 23. So I got a 25, I believe, in these, and they are so much more comfortable through the butt. I have a lot of room in the waist here, but I can just get that taken in or wear a belt, and I've just started fitting jeans to my hips and butt, and not to my waist and taking in the waist because I can't squish my butt and hips into tight jeans anymore. It's so uncomfortable. But these look really good. These are the Londons. And I'm 5'6", so you may be worth like a bit of a heel, but mostly a flat and they're really nice. So these are, yeah, I think a 25. And I'm like, waist is like 24.5, 24. Depends, depends on the day. I was looking at this set for so long before I got it and it's really cute. I mean, it's not like, I feel like you're going to be a little surprised that I got this, but I think that there's ways to style both of these pieces, but as a set, it's like kind of cute, kind of fun. This is song of style. I think extra, extra small and extra small. And there's different ways that you can like wear these straps, but I think it's kind of fun. These actually like do up. You can make them looser. I don't know. Kind of fun. Very like 90s. I actually have a pink party soon that for breast cancer and I can maybe wear this. Little heels, what do you think? I know it's not like fully my normal style, but I think it's like a fun going out piece. This also comes in black, I'll link it down below. This does not fit. It's opening up here. My butt is hanging out and it's not even like fully tied up. So I don't know who is this, who this is supposed to fit. Like this is a dress and this is an extra small. I'm not even tall, so. I'll link it. If you have no butt, it's so cute though. Ugh, I wish I fit my body, it doesn't. If you had bigger boobs and then kind of more like a flat bum, this would fit you, but maybe size up. I think this neckline looks so good on some people, but on me, it just doesn't look good. I think it's cause I don't really have boobs. Like this thing you look like it's just a, a square. It needs to get taken in, but even if I took it in, I feel like this is just not that flattering on me. So I'm probably gonna just give this away to someone who would look good on because it's really nice. This like really, this this whole thing just doesn't look great on me. And then I got these sandals for Costa Rica. Cute, tiki's. I cannot believe I leave for Costa Rica in a month. <laughs> oh, it's just too soon, it's too soon. I'm excited, but it's just this year has flown by. I am gonna have to start packing. All the pieces that didn't fit me, I'm gonna try to return back to Revolve. I think I'm actually gonna end today here and then see you tomorrow because like nothing's gonna happen the rest of the day. I just wanna get some computer work done and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Oh my God, the fire alarm went off last night for so long. I am so tired today. I am heading into the office. It is Wednesday. I go to the office on Wednesday. It's gonna need to bring a lunch actually, which is very rare for me. I never bring a lunch, but I'm trying to not spend money. So I have some chicken and some rice, and then I'm just gonna add some hummus to it. Nothing better than hummus and rice. Love hummus and rice and hot sauce. Wow. So I'm just gonna put some hummus in there. It's gonna look super unappetizing, but I swear it's good. And then I just have this little like, like tomatoes, cucumber, I'm gonna put that in here. That was a really bad idea. Tomatoes are gonna get all fucked on whatever. Like knowing me, I'm gonna eat this as soon as I get to the office. Like I'm still a child and I eat my lunch at like 10 a.m. That's my lunch today. Keep snacks at the office, so. I would literally die if my lunch exploded in my bag, so I have to put it in a bag. <laughs> Okay, amazing. Let's go to the office. I totally forgot to vlog yesterday. Oh my God, it be somewhere in five minutes. Totally forgot to vlog yesterday. Right now we're going to the pop-up space because we're doing a pop-up next week and we're getting some, oh fuck, I need this. Getting some measurements and everything, so let's go.
I literally sat on the couch all day and edited after I went to the pop-up. The pop-up looks good, but I did forget the Goo Gone, even though I don't even know if I ordered it. Anyway, pop-up space looks good. There's so much work to do. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. I also have really bad cramps, so I just wanna like take it easy right now. I just made some dinner. I'm just making like chicken and Brussels sprouts. Oh, this happened today. I put up all, well, I didn't. I got a task rabbit too. These shelves so I could take my bags. My bags used to all be in here and they were like really squished. So I have a lot of bags. Like it's actually like excessive and I don't really buy bags that much. So blessed to say a lot of these were gifts, which is really nice, but yeah, I'm really happy with this storage. So I'm just making some chicken and Brussels sprouts and I, oh, that's too close for how I look right now. And I'm gonna sit my ass on the couch, continue to edit my video and watch Real Housewives of Salt Lake City and then Beverly Hills and then Kim Kardashian and then Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Fucking fantastic night. Oh, and Handmaids. I only can watch all of those tonight. I'm gonna have to save one for tomorrow. So probably watch the Real Housewives tonight. No, one Housewives, one Kardashian, then tomorrow another Housewives Handmaids. In fact, impeccable next two nights. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Look at the leaves falling. Beautiful fall day. I'm just heading to Tight Clinic. Oh my gosh, this is like out of a movie right now. Stunning. Heading to Tight Clinic, I've been getting facial reflexology and like lymphatic drainage to kind of help with my TMJ and my face muscles and my tension and my stress. This is my third one because my muscles were very tight. So it's been really cool. I've really liked it so far. Apparently it's really good for your face. So I'll show you what it's like. to go shoot a photo and then I have to come back edit a video. I also have to meet someone for dinner. It's been a fucking week, guys. I had a full little breakdown today. I had a full cry sesh. Sometimes you just cry, very overwhelmed, so much work. You know, sometimes those tears, it's just like you let it out and then you feel good after and sometimes you just need to cry. Let's go shoot this photo, get it all done. Let's finish the week out with a bang so that I can just stress out over the weekend until this pop-up is done. I am going out for dinner and then I'm coming home to edit. But this is my dinner look. I just really wanna be very casual. I literally have the same makeup on from earlier. Wearing black trousers, my little Kate shoes. Just love a good puddle. Except like these are Ritzia and they're tall. And it's like, I'm not even tall, you know? Like I'm five six. I need like extra tall to like get them to puddle the way I want them to. Um, just a big tea necklace. Got a lot of fun jewelry on, mixing gold and silver. I'm just gonna wear my little silver Gucci Jackie. Should I? I can see all my bags. It's like so fun to pick a bag, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just have a little dinner. I'm going to laissez faire. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I will see you next week while we build. You know what? No, you know what? Yeah, I'll see you next week. Love you all. Peace and love. Bye.